What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how I managed to uh, trap a few of these bad boys right in here. If you can't tell, those are leeches. So for those of us who live in Kingston, I don't know what it's like for the rest of southeastern Ontario, but in Kingston for me it was very difficult to find leeches. And of course all of my favorite YouTubers are out there catching walleye and all kinds of stuff with leeches. And I could not find any to buy. So I came across a YouTube video by Clayton Chick Outdoors. He did a really good video on how you can make your own leech traps. So I tried it last night and uh, it worked. As you can tell, I only have three little ones. The point is the trap worked. So I'm going to show you how I built my leech trap based off of Clayton's video. And we're going to go set it. And tomorrow morning, we're going to go check it. So right here, this is almost everything you need to build your trap. These pie plates from the dollar store, as you can see here, see if I can get that to focus, $1. These uh, alligator clips or binder clips as they're called. Again, from Dollarama, $3. You need a little bit of fishing line for what I used is this 12 pound uh, mono. You can use anything braid or whatever you got. Some duct tape and a knife. Let's take one of these pie plates. And essentially all the trap is, is a pie plate folded in half, just like that. That's your trap. So in order to reinforce this uh, flimsy tin foil, I'm just gonna take a strip of duct tape and put it around the back here where it's gonna fold. And that's just going to give it a little bit of extra strength and longevity. Not that it matters. I mean, these pie plates were literally a dollar, but you know, just if you want to keep using your stuff and not have to remake your traps uh, too often. And this is just a good way to good way to do it. That's that. The next I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to poke a big hole right here if you guys can see that i'm gonna poke a hole right here make it a little bit long and i'm gonna take this little flap and just fold it down that's kind of sharp so what we don't want is for that to cut our fishing line when we're throwing it out there or your twine or whatever you're using and then the remainder up here this little bit right here can get a little bit flimsy too depending on what kind of pie plates you get so you can use just a bit of duct tape to reinforce that. Just like that. And for good measure, I took a little bit of duct tape and I just like uh, put it here just to cover up any of those real sharp edges. And that's it, that's your bait. So what you're gonna do is take whatever kind of meat or whatever bait you're using. What I used was that crappy head that I uh, cut off and kept from when I did my catch and cook with uh, the crappie and the perch and catch and cook coatings. You're gonna take your alligator clips. You're probably gonna need three or four per bait. So there's uh, 24 that came in this bin. And all you're gonna do is once you got your bait in there and you've got your fishing line tied on, you're gonna take your alligator clips and just clip them on like that. Depending on the size and uh, you know the quality of your of your binder clips, you might not need to use three or four. Just two would be fine. But they're gonna go like that. You want to make sure that you've got a little bit of an opening on each end of your uh, of your trap here, so that the leeches can get in and out. They're pretty they're pretty wormy, so they can probably wouldn't have too much trouble getting into a smaller space, but. That's it. That's your leech, leech trap. The last thing I'm going to do to this part specifically is just tie on my uh, tie on my line here using literally any kind of knot. For me, I just use like an improved clinch knot just because. You still want a nice strong knot because you don't want this to break or get caught up in anything. The last thing you want to do is end up littering this uh, into a local body of water. I'm going to put a rock in here and the rest of my bait, which uh, I think I'm going to use the perch body because I actually still have it. I popped it in the freezer um, 
to keep it uh, frozen instead of just throwing it in the garbage and letting it rot that day and getting really smelly. So I put it in the freezer and I forgot to throw it out on garbage day. I'm gonna put it in here. So I'm here at a local rainwater runoff pond in my neighborhood. And uh, I tell you, I was very surprised to find that there were actually leeches in here. So it just goes to show, you can probably find leeches in any small pond or small body of water, as well as the real big ones too. But for now, I'm gonna put the GoPro on and we're gonna see how I get the rest of this trap out into the water. So I've got my trap here. I got my fish head in here, my perch head. It's super windy today, so that's kind of sucky, but that's okay. Perch head is frozen, also okay. It'll thaw out. Put my alligator clips on. I'm gonna put four just to make sure that this uh, doesn't open up on me when I when I toss it out into the water. I'm not going to be throwing this very far, so I don't need to set out like a ton of line or anything. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So I'm just going to take this and huck it out into the water. Just like that. But also, there goes my whole spool of line. Derp. So now I gotta try and get down here and get that out of the water. Oop. Fortunately, that wasn't too bad. Oh. And now I've got a big mess of line I have to try and sort out here. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning, check that out and see what's good. All right. First one. Check it out. Hey, hey, hey. We got a couple of leeches. Not too many, but I'm gonna take them because that's okay. If I can get them off of this. Ooh. Yeah, nice crappie juice right there. And a couple small ones. That's okay, I'm gonna take them. Lively. <laughs> There's a little baby leech there. Come on, buddy. You don't want to be there. Ah, get off. on there. Uh, how big are these ones? We'll use this crappie head for one more one more go I think. Uh, 
There we go. We'll go, go check my wife's track. Let's see if we... Oh! Is that a, that was a little snail. Let's see if our perch head has made us any friends. a little baby leech or two in there. That's okay. The big crappie head is uh, has been the, the go-to so far. So here I've got six leeches and that's that's plenty for me really. Um, it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be to make these traps and to, to use them and catch a couple of leeches and uh, so now I can't wait to use them. Yeah overall I'm happy. I can't wait to try these out. So let me know if you've done something like this before. And uh, before you go from this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Um, hopefully in the near future, you're gonna see me using these leeches to maybe catch some walleye. Here's hoping. But until then, I'll see you guys later.